Yesterday, the Department of Social Development and their partners, the MGN SA Foundation, opened a state-of-the-art multimedia center for children living with disabilities at the Nompumalanga Special School in Bizana in the Eastern Cape. And joining us this morning from our studio in Durban is Deputy Minister of Social Development, Henrietta Bohopane Zulu, to talk to us about this brand new multimedia center that was opened yesterday. Minister, thanks so much for speaking to us this morning. Thank you very much for having us and good morning to your viewers. So can we perhaps start off by uh, briefly getting a view, uh, if you could just tell us more about the Nompumalanga Special School and why this particular school was chosen. Firstly, let me thank MTN as a foundation because we were connecting school number 41 yesterday with them. They've been a partner with us and we launched two computer labs actually and Nompumalanga School for Children with Intellectual Disabilities and Zamogushle School for Children with Visual Impairment. Um, the schools are chosen by us and MTN makes sure the money is available for the labs to be designed. We choose the schools in the Eastern Cape, we've connected seven schools. So every year, based on the budget that they have, we sit and we select schools that computer labs will bring a different. The school must be properly run, the SGP must be in place, the parents must be responsive, because it really doesn't make a difference if you bring a computer lab in a dysfunctional school. So we choose schools based on their level of uh, performance and also the commitment of the teachers. The computer labs that we connect come with teacher training because the equipment are highly specialized, designed for the disability specific, and it is important that we ensure that our teachers are able to teach our children. We don't want disabled children or disabled people to be left out in the digital revolution. So we want to make sure they are there in the mix of things. So, um, uh, Deputy Minister, you say these are computer labs. So talk to us about the actual resources uh, that you are putting into these schools and also the sort of skills that would then be passed on. How would the learners actually benefit then? Firstly, if you connect a computer lab for visually impaired children, um, MTN spends 1.2 million rand per computer lab because firstly it has a braille printer which is very important. It has Duxbury, it has magnification for low visual and partially sighted people like me. It, we had big monitors, uh, large print keyboards, JAWS as a screen reader. It also has the PAL camera, which replaces the scanner. The children are able to do their homework. They are able to be taught any subject because MTN has also digitalized the uh, uh, content. Uh, therefore, it makes it easier. It also not only benefits, if it's a school for the blind, it doesn't only benefit the learners. It also benefits blind teachers. They are able to prepare their work. They are able to do their lesson plans without any additional support. With children with intellectual disabilities like Mpumalanga, Mpumalanga, we, we get computer labs that are very specific for them. Firstly, that has Neptune, which is a software that enables a child with intellectual disability to learn at their own pace. And um, we have the class manager that enables the teacher to support and assess each child and get the exact correct performance of the child amongst the many other things. And all of them are 22-seater labs. Uh, we design the furniture to be responsive to the needs of the children. If they are on wheelchairs, the furniture will be designed higher or lower because we want every child to have the access. We've come, we've this year, as an example, is the year for dyslexia. And we have connected with MTN in partnership with Samsung, the first multimedia center for children with dyslexia in Soweto, in Tlokomelo. We've done a school for children who are deaf blind, and they also have a computer lab. So a physically disabled, uh, autism, Down syndrome, so, all the disabilities have been covered in the 41 labs that we have connected with MTN Foundation over the past uh, seven years. So 
the Deputy most Minister? expensive is that one for yes uh, just a, a, a final question perhaps uh, and it all sounds really wonderful but uh, is there scope for these facilities to be extended beyond just the learners in the school and whether the community can then also benefit largely speaking uh, those members in the community who do have uh, a disability can they access these facilities as well yes beyond disabled people when a computer lab is handed over, it's handed over to the school, but it's also handed over to the school community. So all the schools that have these facilities, young people come in the afternoon because they also come with internet, they use them. People with dyslexia, for an example, in Soweto that learn at the different Tibet colleges now go to Tlokomelo to do their homeworks, to go to Tlokomelo to do their research because that computer lab is accessible. In Tabanchu, for an example, the learners with visual impairment that are at the Tibet colleges there, they do their computer lessons at the school because the Tibet college does not have accessible computer labs. So every person around the school community is having access to the computer labs. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time this morning, uh, Henrietta Bohopane Zulu, the Deputy Minister of Social Development, talking to us about multimedia centres that were opened yesterday and previously, but yesterday's was at the Nompumalanga Special School in Bizana in the Eastern Cape. And uh, a really worthwhile project, especially uh, catering to the needs of people with disabilities and broader communities as well. With that, let's take a quick break.